So here's my template for a cube that I'm going to use to make dice. Um, the nice thing about it is you don't need glue or tape to put it together and it's not quite as hard to fold as some of the origami models. You just have to cut out the template and if you want dice anyway you're going to want the nice print like this. So you just cut out the template around the edges and then you have to make a few extra cuts and I've I've made everywhere you need to cut thicker solid lines and as opposed to the ones that you're just going to fold which are which are thinner lines. So you cut around the border and then you also have to cut here and here and these L-shaped cuts here. Okay, So let me do that next. I've, I've cut one of them already. Um, I need to cut here and then along this edge of this face and then the same thing on the other side. It's a nice symmetric model. And then one more cut. And now I have everything that I need to cut out. We've, we've cut out the, the general shape and we've got this sort of a cross shape at the top and then the cuts here. Now what I need to do is fold every crease. And so I'm going to turn it over and I want to be as precise as I can here. take my time and very carefully make these folds as close as I can to write on these printed line segments. Almost there. Let's see, we need to fold from this side. Okay, there we go. We've got all the folds that we need now. And now to assemble it. I'm going to start by folding these two up and these in. Okay. And then the cross part I'm going to fold up and over. And then finally fold the back side up and around. And the last thing I need to do is tuck these faces in. Okay. I may need to here in a minute use a paper clip to do that. Let me I think I can get this one in. Actually, let me go ahead. I'm going to grab a paper clip. So sometimes these final tucks are a little bit hard to get to work, but I'm going to fold the tab over. For one, it makes the paper a little bit thicker there, which might be good enough, but it also gives me something I can push on if I, if I insert a paper clip. And I'm going to do the same thing from the other side. So I'm going to fold this over just a little bit. Insert the tab. Um, so on my web page, I have templates for these. I have blank ones. I have some that are made to look like bricks, like maybe a little Mario brick cube. Um, have the dice. have different sizes. The, the smaller they are, the harder it is to get those final tucks in like I just did. The bigger ones are a little bit easier. But, but there you go. It's not too hard to just cut it out and fold it and you have a really nice, really nice die. Make a couple of them. Got yourself a pair of dice.